Loading Ready Run is dubious, a sealed challenge that spans Innistrad, and double team sealed Grand Prix events. It's September 9th, I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this is Split Second. Kaladesh previews keep moving along, and we start off today with Dubious Challenge, a sorcery previewed on the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel. For three and a green, you get to look at the top 10 cards of your library, exile two creatures, then an opponent may choose one of those to put onto the battlefield under their control, and you can put the rest onto the battlefield under your control. Players are already attempting to figure out the best creatures to get with Dubious Challenge, as well as ways to get back the creatures that come into play under the opponent's control, such as Homeward Path and Gruel Charm. The preview video can be found on the Loading Ready Run YouTube channel. Our next preview card is not so dubious, coming from Editor-in-Chief of Daily MTG, Blake Rasmussen. Cloud Blazer is a 2-2 for 3 white-blue that has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, you gain 2 life and draw 2 cards. As Blake points out, this card is reminiscent of Muldrifter from Lorwyn, a limited all-star that still sees play in various formats. Rasmussen can be found on Twitter as at BlakePR. Wizards of the Coast game designer Sam Stoddard previewed a new vehicle in his latest developments article. Smuggler's Copter is a 3-3 for 2 with flying and crew 1. When it attacks or blocks, you may draw a card and discard a card. Players are calling this the best vehicle previewed so far, trying to find the best shell to fit it into. The article that Stoddard previewed the card in is a write-up on the development process for the crew mechanic, which started out requiring a certain number of creatures rather than a total amount of power. You can check out the article on magic.wizards.com to find out more about the crew mechanic. Also on the Magic homepage today, Luis Scott Vargas previewed a new removal card. Unlicensed Disintegration is a one black red instant that destroys a creature, and if you control an artifact, deals three damage to that creature's controller. In the article, LSV goes over the various components of the card, such as cost and colors, and its potential impact on Limited. Fans of Innistrad are in for a treat. From September 14th through September 21st, Magic Online will be hosting a full Innistrad Sealed League. Players will receive two Innistrad, one Dark Ascension, two Shadows over Innistrad, and one Eldritch Moon Booster in order to construct their decks. The cost to enter is 28 event tickets, 280 play points, or the requisite packs and four event tickets. Players will receive booster packs, play points, and qualifier points based on their record. The Grand Prix circuit has two stops this weekend in Kyoto, Japan and Louisville, Kentucky. The format for these events is Team Sealed, where a team of three players receives 12 boosters to make three decks of 40 cards each. GP Kyoto starts at 9 a.m. Saturday local time, which is Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern. GP Louisville begins at 9 a.m. Eastern on Saturday. Both Grand Prix events will have written coverage, along with standings and results on magic.wizards.com slash events. Lastly, I wanted to thank all of our viewers who entered our recent 100,000 subscriber giveaway. We chose the winner last week, and we want to congratulate Matthew Kui Kendall for winning the Mountain of Prizes. That's our show for today, September 9th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.